The human skeleton can be moved and flexed due to the presence of different types of joints. The junction of two bones that permits movement is known as a joint. As we focus on the skull, we find the flat skull bones held together by fixed joints called sutures. They do not allow movement, hence these joints are also known as immovable or fibrous joints. As we look at the nodding movement of the skull, it shows the pivot joint between the skull and the atlas and the axis vertebrae. Here, the ring-like structure of the atlas vertebra articulates with the peg-like projection of the axis, helping in the rotary movement of the head. The next type of joint is also seen between the vertebrae of the backbone. They are known as the symphysis, and the connection between the articulating bones is made up of tough cartilage. There is very little movement between these joints. The symphysis joint helps in the bending movement of the spine. The pectoral girdle is another type of joint that shows the ball and socket joint, or synovial joint, where the ball of the humerus fits into the glenoid cavity of the scapula. This joint helps in the movement of the arm in all directions. Another example of this joint is the hip joint, where the head of the femur fits into the curved cavity or acetabulum of the pelvic girdle. The elbow is an example of a hinge joint. This joint between the humerus and the radius and the ulna allows movement in only one direction. The knee joint is also a hinge joint and is formed by the articulation of femur, fibula, and tibia. This joint helps in moving in the leg in one direction only. A saddle joint is found between the carpals and the metacarpals. This joint helps in the back and forth movement 